So in this video, I will take a dive into the Alien franchise, specifically the original Alien by Ridley Scott and Aliens by James Cameron. Alien is a science fiction horror action media franchise centered on the film series which depicts Officer Ellen Ripley and her battle with the extraterrestrial life form commonly referred to as Alien or the Xenomorph. In 1979, Ridley Scott terrified moviegoers with the science fiction masterpiece Alien. This groundbreaking movie is widely considered one of the best science fiction horror movies of all time. Aliens was left on the edge of the sea as one of the most unique and horrifying movie monsters stalked the helpless crew of the Nostromo. It was the introduction of the Xenomorph. The Xenomorph, or the Aliens, is an extraterrestrial hive-based species with a multi-stage life cycle. One of the deadliest of all known alien species, these creatures require a host organism in order to reproduce. The appearance of the Xenomorph can vary depending on the host on which the embryo is implanted. The Xenomorph is in general around 7 feet or 2 meters in height and roughly about 180 kilograms or 400 pounds in weight. The physical form of the Xenomorph can vary depending on its life stage, hive, age, and host. Its ability to incorporate genetic material from its host coupled with the existence of numerous mutations and deviations which have originated naturally or artificially making the Xenomorph one of the most diverse organisms in the universe. The Narcissus was a modified light shuttle that served as one of the two light boats aboard the Nostromo. It was designed to carry a crew of three, including a pilot, co-pilot, and a science officer, although the interior could easily be modified to seat more crew members if necessary. For the long duration travel, the shuttle contained two hypersleep capsules, Although long-range interstellar transit is not the vessel's primary purpose, it measures about 16.3 meters or 54 feet in length and has a width of 19.7 meters or 65 feet. In addition, the height is 7.5 meters or 25 feet. The USCSS Nostromo was a modified Lockmart CM88B Bison M-Class Star Freighter owned by the Whaling Corporation and captained by Arthur Dallas. The Nostromo was constructed as an interstellar cruiser, but was refitted as a commercial towing vehicle. When the ship landed on LV-426, it was damaged when the dust entered one of the engine intakes, causing it to overheat and eventually triggered an electrical fire in the engineering section. Measured at 334 meters or 1,095 feet in length, it has a width of 215 meters or 705 feet. The height is 98 meters or 320 feet. The Nostromo was massive. The Juggernaut was a large asymmetrical wishbone shaped craft with a thickened center sections between two horns which bends upwards. The interior of the Juggernaut resembled more of a living organism than a space gone vessel with skeletal walls and a circular gangway. As far as I know, I don't know the official size of the Juggernaut, but it's roughly around 345 meters in length. If you happen to know the actual size, let me know in the comment section below. At the center of the Juggernaut was the pilot, sometimes referred to as the space jockey, was the engineer who piloted the spacecraft that crashed on LV-426. Alien start with Ripley being rescued from suspended animation for more than 50 years after the first movie. The result was the film that was consistently called one of the best action movies of all time and a visual tour de force in the movie industry. Written and directed by then unknown James Cameron, Aliens was a bold step in a new direction. Instead of simply rehashing the original film, Cameron took the terror attention of the first film and added heart pounding thrills and action. The M577 armor personnel carrier was a light armored tactical response vehicle employed by the United States Marine Corps. It was a lightweight troop transport designed to operate as a multi-role vehicle and capable of being dropped into combat by dropships. The vehicle was 9.2 meters or 30 feet in length and 3.4 meters or 11 feet in width. It also had the max speed of 150 km or 93 mph. 
In addition, it carried up to 12 passengers and two drivers, armed with a Gatling cannon, phase plasma cannon, three electronic lasers, and smart missiles. The power loader was manufactured by Whaling Corporation and was a commercialized exoskeleton used for lifting heavy materials and objects. More importantly, it was used by Ripley to defeat the alien queen at the end of the movie. As well as a widespread industrial use, the P-5000 is heavily employed by the United States Colonial Marine Corps to load ordnance on board. Power loaders are equipped with hydraulic claws that can be used to hold and manipulate a variety of objects. Better known as the Cheyenne, the UD-4 utility dropship is a signature technical transport of the United States Colonial Marines a space-capable gunship designed to quickly deploy troops from orbit. The UD-4 has the ability to take off and land vertically from an unprepared site. It can also operate as a ship-to-ship -ship transport. Stationed aboard the Sulaco, the Cheyenne can rapidly relay troops, supplies, and heavy equipment up to and including an armored personnel carrier to any point on any planetary surface. The Cheyenne can carry many different types of rockets, a Gatling cannon, and was armored with a tri-layer carbon ceramic plates. It was measured at 25 meters or 82 feet in length and has a width of 12.6 meters or 41 feet. In addition, the height is 6 meters or 20 feet. It can carry up to 60 passengers with a max speed of Mark 12. The queen of this species is generally twice as large and possesses superior speed, strength, and intelligence compared to her common offspring. Its most prominent features was its immense size, armor, and crown-like head, typically standing around 4.5 meters in height. Even though the queens are capable of engaging in combat, such an event was a rare occurrence. Rather, queen usually act as a stationary egg layer within the hive, tended by workers similar to a beehive. The USS Sulaco was a troop transport ship in service of the United States Marine Corps, assigned in the 2nd Battalion Bravo Team. It was used in the investigation of the colony on LV-426. The vessel was about 385 meters in length, or 1,263 feet, and can carry an additional 20,000 tons of cargo. As a troop carrier, Sulaco carried two dropships and have a life support for 90 crews and passengers to be supported indefinitely. No actual crew is needed. The ship is fully automated and can sustain and defend itself with the use of an advanced artificial intelligence computer. An android in most cases monitored the computer and life support system during the mission. The year was 1979. The director was mostly unknown individual named Ridley Scott. The film that changed the future look and ideas of what the creature should look and act like. Alien helped redefine the sci-fi genre for a generation of moviegoers. While technology has allowed for advance in filmmaking and things to get bigger and better, this movie is classic that stands the test of time. I still remember very vividly watching Aliens when I was younger, and to this day, it's one of the few movies that blew me away, not just from the storytelling and character development, but also from its groundbreaking visual and practical effect. So which one is your favorite alien movie and why? Leave your comment below and I want to hear your thoughts. And if you want to see more technical 3D animation, check out my playlist on the right hand corner. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. That's it man. Game over man. <laughs>